Hello everyone, welcome to the mud pit. Okay, so uh, today's lesson is if it ain't raining, you ain't training. Okay, so that's a, uh, something that a friend of mine taught me a while ago. Basically, you need to practice under adverse weather conditions. Okay, so you guys have seen me shooting in rain before and snow. I mean, I've shot through snowstorms, through hurricanes. Um, you know, it's, it's all, those are all training opportunities. Okay, uh, and especially if you can practice in a 306 degree environment. So. Uh, the uh, the gun I wanted to practice with today is my everyday carry gun, okay, uh, Glock 43, Polymer 80 Glock 43, uh, it's got the Howison 507K on it, um, so here's the thing, in order to get to this uh, uh, location right here, I had to do quite a bit of walking, um, and I and here's the thing, the Glock 43, um, you know, has six round magazines, okay, so uh, usually for training, let's say with a Glock 19, uh, you know, 15 round magazines. If you've got three magazines, you know, three magazines, one the gun, two at your belt, you've got 45 uh, bullets that you can that you can practice with. Um, with with the Glock 43, since they're only six round magazines, you know, I need to carry a lot of magazines. So uh, the question becomes, how do you carry all these magazines? Uh, when I wear them at my belt, you know, eight magazines at the belt becomes very awkward, very cumbersome. Uh, so the solution that I found was the belly band holster, okay? Uh, this one is uh, it's sold by Kraft Holsters, made by Falco. It's got uh, seven compartments, it's got seven, well, it's got two holster compartments and um, uh, seven magazine compartments, okay? Uh, and that's the thing I'm, I'm really interested in uh, using today. I'm not using the holster compartment because I'm using a Glock 43 that has to be kept in a, uh, in a Kydex holster, like you see over here. Uh, the only type of gun I would carry um, in the holster uh, compartment on this gun would be like a gun like like my Ruger LCP which has a double action only trigger. Um, so this belly band holster gives me the ability to carry lots of magazines okay uh, and it gives me flexibility. Now there's two types of belly band holsters that they have. One is the breathable one which is a little bit lighter. I was uh, I, I was practicing with that yesterday uh, you know wearing like bathing trunks um, so yeah, you know, uh, a few of my customers have asked me about a good holster when they're wearing like gym shorts. Um, so for today, uh, I wanted to use one that's a little bit more durable. So I'm using the you know the, the thicker version, um, it, but it's very flexible. So with with eight, first of all, let me, let me take this off for a second so you guys can get a, get a better look at it. Uh, so with eight uh, compartments, right? Um, you know, you, you can see how many. Um, how many magazines I can put on there and it's flexible so I can stretch I cannot do this I can't get into a full squat okay if I have eight magazines at my belt okay that, that's that's just impossible uh, so this allows me uh, that option I, I can be very flexible um, and the other thing with this is here we put this back on because this kind of goes all the way around I'm gonna be out here for a couple of hours, so I don't want to get soaked. Um, so, so the nice thing about this belly band holster, because the, the magazines go all the way around. So, like, what happens when I want to get to the ones back here? Well, that's easy. I can just rotate this because it's not locked in place uh, by belt loops. Uh, it's 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 uh, attached. You know, it's basically locked in place by Velcro. Um, and the, and there's a lot of Velcro there because a lot of times I find. Um, if they don't put enough Velcro, uh, what happens is it starts getting weak very quickly. But there's like almost like six inches of Velcro on this, so it's gonna it's gonna last a while. It's not terribly expensive. It's it's only like forty dollars. Um, so you know, I mean, I can get a couple of months, a couple of years, whatever. However, whatever use I get out of this for forty dollars, when I see that the Velcro starts fading a little bit, I just order another one. It's only forty bucks. But it's really uh, practical if you're practicing with a gun like this Glock 43 that I'm using. Now you might say, well how about like a tactical vest? You know, I mean yes, there's, there are other options. A tactical vest is great if you got, especially if you're carrying like AR mags, you know, or maybe a war belt, you know. But here's the thing, I, I just want to practice with my Glock 43 today. So I didn't want to put on, you know, a full tactical vest, um, a war belt, you know. You know, I, I just wanted to just quickly throw this on and start walking, you know. So this is, this is pretty light, very comfortable. It's got that flex, so again, I can get into a full squat with this. You know, I can reach over. You know, I can't do this with eight magazines attached to my belt. And also, when you put that many magazines on your belt, you know, all of a sudden, like, it's it's awkward. You're gonna start moving in ways that you normally don't move. So uh, that's something to uh, to be aware of. Okay, so um, 
let's do a little shooting. By the way, I know that there are like people that say, well, why don't you just carry a bigger gun like a, uh, a Glock 43X? You know, I, I've, I've tried out the 43X. It's, it's a little bit bigger than the one I'm carrying. I just find this a lot more comfortable, okay? I don't live in a high-risk environment. So six rounds uh, is usually enough uh, for my situation. And then I've got extra magazines planted in places like my car, my office, my home. You know, so, so that's a good uh, plan for a person in my situation, in a very low-risk situation. However, when I get into a place like this, right, like this mud pit here in the woods, um, you know, when I come here, uh, you know, I, I'd rather not have to bring a backpack with me because I got to carry, like, say, like the, the tripod, right, so I can do these videos. So I'd rather not have stuff in my hands, uh, but this is great. I can strap on these magazines onto this, um, um, you know, onto this belly band holster, you know, and I can I can practice. So uh, let's do a little bit of practice here. Got the earmuffs on. Now I can rotate this around, get to the next magazine. So that was a fun little exercise. Um, multiple magazines. You know, some of them had well, six round magazines. Some of them I had le uh, less rounds in them. Um, you know, some of them had uh, like two rounds or three rounds. Uh, two of them had uh, dummy rounds in there, like the snap caps, which kind of forced the jam. And I had to unjam the magazine. You know, so all, all that. You know, all the um, magazine changes and um, uh, clearing. You know, uh, uh, gun jam clearings were done from a squatted position behind some type of cover. And again, that's where the flexibility of this belly band holster really comes into play because when I've tried to do this uh, same exercise with like seven magazines at my belt, it's really uncomfortable to get into a squat position behind cover at, and do all those things. So um, I didn't expect I'd be using this belly band holster as a tactical magazine carrier. Um, you know, for my Glock 43, but it's working, it's great, um, and no problems, I've done this exercise that you saw me do here uh, several times, I'm really happy with it, I'm going to put some links uh, below in the description, in case you guys want to check it out, it's only 40 bucks, so I think it's a very uh, cheap, but very useful tool to have uh, in, your, in your toolbox, uh, especially for when you're training with your everyday carry gun, which most likely has a somewhat limited capacity, and you just need lots of magazines, uh, to practice with. So if you like, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it. If you're not a member of my channel, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys soon.